Businesses in Jefferson hope to see a little new life today. Bars will be reopening tonight only if the parish's positivity rate for the coronavirus stays below 5% in today's update from the state. Duke Carter is in Metairie right now, and Duke, the council members say these small businesses are the backbone of the community, and, and a lot of these businesses really suffering since uh, the start of this pandemic. Yeah, that's what uh, Jefferson Parish Chamber of Commerce leaders are saying, as well as Jefferson Parish Council members are saying that businesses like Spotlight Grill, Bar and Grill behind me, as well as uh, Babylon Bar, they have been suffering since the pandemic began at the height of the pandemic uh, early this year in March. And so now it's a one step in the right direction if bars and other businesses can reopen here in JP. Now, the Jefferson Chamber of Commerce leaders are saying having small businesses open is crucial to the economy. They say most of the small businesses businesses here in JP, about 20,000 of them have employees of about 10 or fewer. So what that means, though, is that uh, people will, uh, will have been affected by work and trying to figure out how they're going to pay their bills, whether it be food or shelter. And so we spoke with Jefferson Parish uh, Chamber leaders as well as Jefferson Parish Council members about this. Here's what they had to say. We all want to get back to normal. We'd love to just flip a switch. We understand that we have to wear the mask. We have to use the hand sanitizers and the social distancing. But it is very, very critical to get Jefferson Parish and really to get our whole region and our state back up and running. And rather than just this keep everything shut down, if we can emphasize how do we open, what do we need to put in place that will make us feel comfortable that it can be done safely? For example, I know our musicians are really struggling. There are other states that are letting live music occur indoors, but they have to be behind plexiglass. Now, here's what you need to know. The parish must maintain uh, a below 5% positive testing rate and business owner must make sure safety precautions are in place. So masks must be required. Tables must be six feet apart for social distancing. Only can uh, do tables uh, service and 25% or 50 per, or 50 people capacity, whichever is fewer uh, inside the bar. Now, according to Jefferson Parish uh, leaders like Jennifer Van Franken, who you just heard from in that sound clip, if they move the game plan, hopefully is in the future is that if this bars are successful, maybe they can move forward with music venues, as you heard in the sound clip where people can attend, but do it safely. For now, the reporting live to Carter Eyewitness News. Thanks very much, Duke. Although approved parishes can opt in to allow uh, the premises uh, 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 people to drink inside uh, bars, parishes can still lose those privileges if an update shows an increase in the positivity rate in those respective parishes. ATC is going to continue to monitor parishes that have been approved to reopen bars. Uh, should a parish reach that 10% or higher for two consecutive one-week periods, um, then, then uh, ATC will order no additional on-site consumption of bars until it satisfies the gating criteria again uh, re related to the 5%. And Orleans Parish is still under phase two requirements, so bars must remain closed until city officials move into phase three.